Well, new tonight, turning tragedy into triumph. One Baton Rouge family using their loss to help others who are going through the same thing. Miranda Thomas explains how they hope to make a change with an annual act of kindness. Um, he was a jokester. Uh, he had a vibrant personality. Jonathan Thomas remembers his brother, Justin Henry, who was shot and killed one day before Thanksgiving back in 2021. Um, so Thanksgiving has been a little different, but at the same time, even though it's different for us, we still want to continue to bless other people um, that, that may need it. To keep Justin's memory alive, Jonathan and his loved ones gift a hefty food box to four grieving families, so they have one less thing to worry about during the holidays. So despite of what we're going through, you know, collectively, it's important that they understand that they're not alone. Um, it also gives us, um, you know, a sense of, you know, belonging. I hope, you know, this can add to, you know, what y'all do for Thanksgiving. To have the strength to want to give back when they're going through what they're going through, like, it meant it means a lot. Natasha Jones lost her teenage son to gun violence earlier this year. I just hope everybody just come together, find something to do for the kids instead of the kids killing each other because it's not adults now, it's kids killing kids. So I'm just hoping everybody come and reunite together and stop all the violence like it's too much. Jones now has some closure after investigators found her son's accused killer. However, Justin Henry's family is still fighting for justice. Um, so that's that's the hard part, right? Um, it's the reason why I do this interview. My mom don't because I don't want her in the news or the media because um, my brother murder, like I said, is unsolved and we don't know, you know, uh, you know, who, who's out there, right? Thomas says the end goal is love and hopes this annual act of kindness makes a difference. Regardless of, you know, what goes on in the city, what goes on around us is continue to share love, spread love, um, connect with people that share our same experiences. In Baton Rouge, Miranda Thomas, WAFB 9 News. And two